what's going on guys it's wee finny here and i'm sure a lot of you are surprised to see me back um, making videos but i was requested to um come back and you know bring some attention to leech online especially with the anime being released or being continued um next year so I'm pretty sure a lot of Bleach games are going to get hella popular again, especially Bleach Online. Now, um, some of you may have noticed that the language is slightly different. I am playing on the French side, um, mainly because um, they're very, you know, player friendly and a lot more beneficial to play on. Um, the US and EU side have let us down so many times. Um, the VN side was very, very good to play on, but um, wasn't great for uh, you know time zones and stuff. Whereas the French side is great for my time zone, as I am sitting in EU. Uh, they also have a lot of great offline events a lot of comeback events a lot of like top up and reward events um they currently had a event where if you hit level 35 you would get a free 18k top up and you would also get a choice between blood war Ukiora and blood war grimjow so as you can see i have picked up blood war Ukiora. Um, just to help me kickstart uh, my run um, but what I've planned for this account is I'm actually going to run mainly a Toshiro only team uh, for now it's you know a bit all over the place as I don't have the Toshiros I have handsome Toshiro uh, I will top up 2k um, uh, I think tomorrow, and I'll get the Vanguard Toshiro. Um, I will also spend towards uh, Bankai Par here and get my Shin Toshiro. And then my last Toshiro is the, where is it? Special War Powers Toshiro. I need level 70 to hit uh, that, and I will hit it. I would say today or maybe tomorrow uh, and then I'll pretty much just focus on base uh, and just fully upgrade now a few people have asked for me to help explain the Christmas event and what exactly um, you know is good on the Christmas event uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys remember you know getting your Hellverse Ichigos, your Kokodos, uh, your Blood War Nails, stuff like that whenever the Christmas event came around and it was hella fun. Now there's three tabs each with different um, you know different side events as you could call it. The first oh, apologies the first one is um, I believe if you press start, a snowball will move up and down, and you press, I think, space bar, or there could be a stop button again. And you want to try and land on four points. Every so many points you climb, you'll get these type of rewards, as you can see, and then 24 will get you a free title. Um, I think it's space bar. It is. So as you can see, I'm not really the greatest, but I was able to get seven points now i would that got me six point milestone so it got me two hogu enhanced talismans i believe yes yeah, so is it 50 gold it is 50 gold so you can buy a chance for 50 gold and you can keep building your points up i believe if i remember rightly once you pass 48 points a new set of I th it's either the same items or a new set of items will refresh and you can start building up more points and get um, your chances of getting extra items uh, i don't think the title resets the title is always 24 points 
Um, this is based on top up amounts, and this is also, I believe, to do with spending of some sort. So, what is it? It might also, be, and this might be top up, uh, but. You will top up, say, 200, 400, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, and you'll gain a bunch of different types of items. Uh, doing a 5K is massive because you get 2,000 Asuchi, which is great for that Asura set, and it gives you 800 Chino pills, which is really nice for boosting PvP. Um, this is your red Hogyukus items, XP pills, stuff like that. Uh, this is your exclusive frags and I believe your pet upgrading cards for XP. This is Shino Pills and Hans Talismans and this is 10 modifiers and a level 4 chest which is really nice. Now I believe whenever you top up um, and you claim these you get more chances in this tree. And then when you open this tree, it will give you cards or level 4 stones, I believe. Could be, they could have changed it since the last time I played. But the points will help towards this side of the event. Now, this is the sleighs. And uh, as you can see, there's a multitude of characters within the store. Um, each of them. Now, they say like 30k, but... I th if I remember rightly, it's actually slightly cheaper than what they show. Um, if you do the two chances every day. Now, what I mean by the two chances, you get two chances to um, run a sleigh for free. Uh, and what I mean is your, th your third button is to run... Uh, a sleigh which gives you points at the end of it and you can claim but the first two you pay no gold um, the only gold you pay for is the refresh or the straight up 1000 um, gold to hit red which I'll sh demonstrate so you press the 1000 and it will go straight to gold now you get a thousand cards straight away uh, without any you know, F spots or what, you get a thousand cards straight away because that's a thousand gold spent. Now, as you can see, it says 3k to run the sleigh, but we still have two chances. So, as you can see, it, did, it didn't cost me any gold and it took one of my free chances. Now, as you can see, it runs um, for five minutes. I can pay a hundred gold and it'll go straight away, but it also gives me cards. And then I click receive. Now as you can see, I got a thousand cards also. Plus I got a level 10 stone, 500 exclusives, and 20 red Hoguku um, items. Uh, so my suggestion would be over the nine days, pay the thousand, go to the red, and run your free um, sleigh chance. And you'll be able to get... Uh, was it 2,100 uh, per sleigh, so 4,200 a day, and then you can times that by, what, 10, is it, I believe? Yeah, I think it is 10, or 9, maybe, so it's just under 4,000, or 40,000 points for um, 18k gold. Which, as you can see, you can get Ichimonji for 18k gold, you get Yami for 18k gold, you get Bloodwarm Mayuri, um, you know, you could even get Hell vs. Ichigo for 30k, you could get yourself tier 13 Hogus, you know, you can get useful items for super, super cheap, and you'll roughly be around 40k, so you could pay an extra, I believe. Uh, it'll cost you 20k to get up to the 60k so it'll cost you 38k if done correctly to get blood war blood war Harry Bell um, so I would I, I believe that is the cheapest that you'll ever get blood war Harry Bell and the items that you gain is also worth it because you get the exclusives you get the stones you get the red Hogyukus. Uh if you 
If you want to go a slightly slower route, uh, if some of the other items entice you, I would suggest only going for yellows or reds. The reason being is the other two don't really give you anything good. Um, red or red being the best, yellow being you know second best, gives you a level eight stone, hundred Asuchi, and twenty uh, XP Hogyuku pills. Or well, it says two hundred, but it's ten per XP, and then you can buy whoever you want in here. Um, so. What I'll probably be buying is the uh, Grand's pet, uh, as he's one of the strongest pets in the game at the moment. And then I might, I might pick up some modify frags with my cash. To be honest, uh, that will help me boost my Toshiro team, and it will help boost everything else um, that I'm building towards. We also have Bankai or Karakura Town, uh, I believe. Yeah, so I could outright buy Toshiro if I don't want to pay for gold. Or I can top up and you'll get candies and you can use the candies to rent out certain characters. Now, you only rent it out for, I believe, seven days and then you need to continue using your candies to rent them out or you can pay the gold difference so the candies will take gold off the final price, make them slightly cheaper. And then if you want to pay the gold difference, you can buy the character outright. If you have certain characters, you can gain items for free and you can get it every time this event comes around. So I believe one of them is extremely easy to get. I believe it is, um, which one is it? There is one that's extremely easy to get. I believe it's this, as it's all tavern characters. And then Sambo and Sakura, you can either get really cheap in certain events or even top up. Uh, or if you're on the French side, um, there's some offline events that you could possibly win Sambo and Sakura for free um, or even get them at a cheaper price. So. You know, there's a lot of possibilities. You get the free items. You can use the candies for, you know, more useful items. Um, I think that's items. And then what's this? Oh, yeah, this is unpacked toes. So there you go. You can pay 5,000 gold outright and then get them. Uh, but I will be using my candies for either silver uh, or... Modify frags or red Hogyukus pills. They will be my buy items at the moment, and then it will change over time. It'll probably go to stones. Uh, it could probably continue being red Hogyukus or sockets, even. Um, whatever, whatever I'm really in need of. You've got Real Forge, Forge which um, is a top up event. We also have Hermit Event, which every so every so many top ups, you'll gain a chance um, to climb up the permit, and that will give. Okay, apologies about that. It seems the permit event is currently uh, bugged at the moment, but they are planning on fixing it asap. Um, but yes, the permit event, if you top up. You, you can gain points, you can buy items, uh, I believe you can buy hogos, um, you can buy stones, stuff like that. You also have uh, ult ultimate hero or ultra hero, whatever way you want to pronounce it. You can, whenever you top up, you get points and you can get a character for free. Um, like I said, I'll probably top up for the Toshiro. Um, what else do we have? We have ultimate charge, which is like a cross server top up. Um, if you top up certain amounts, you'll be placed into a ladder. Um, if you win first, you'll gain 100% of your top up amount. If you place second, you get 60%, third, 30%, and then it slightly goes lower the further down you go. If you hit 40K top up, you will get Blood War Nail for free, I believe. 
or you'll use the points that you can gain um, to get her for free. If you hit these types of top up amounts, you'll also get a bunch of items and stuff. So, you know, it's pretty decent events. We have the puzzle event, which also gives points for top up. You can use for stones or hogus or titles. I personally would use for either stones or hogu enhanced talismans. I wouldn't use it for the titles. Titles are only limited for 30 days and then it's it just disappears, so there's no point. But there's plenty of events here. Um, hopefully, uh, you know, the explanation for the Christmas event was a lot better and easier to understand. Um, I will leave a link for the GG Corp um, Discord, which is the French admin for uh, French uh, Leech Online. So if you want to join there and ask, you know, for a bit of help or a bit of extra knowledge on, you know, the events, feel free to join and ask around. Definitely make sure to join the offline events as they are very generous. Um, there's currently one going off at the moment where if you top up certain amounts, uh, no matter, like say you top up $5 10 times, you'll get 10 amounts of rewards stuff like that so it's very it's very generous to the players and allows players to get something extra and something a bit back from their top ups but hopefully um hopefully you've enjoyed the video if you want to see more or even if you want to see some fight videos whenever i get the Tushiro uh team going uh, i'll be sure to make it and hopefully you enjoy me coming back i'll try and make you know at least one or two videos every week uh, i have a very busy schedule with work but um i'm sure i could try and get one or two videos out for the week for you guys if you want to uh, enjoy them and watch them and stuff but definitely let me know and hopefully you enjoyed peace